All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this very exhaustive Mass Effect 3 modding guide. So, I don't have a concrete plan for this. I don't have a script, so I'm just going to wing it, basically. Um, right, so I have this little list. Um, we're going to go over all of these mods, so uh, we're going to go over Expanded Galaxy mod, Mass Effect 3 recalibrated, back off, and so on and so forth. And I'm also going to talk a bit about um, the single player controller mod and maybe intuitive controls mod because I know that uh, many people use that. Um, right, so yeah, let's just begin. So, um, when you think about modding Mass Effect 3, then there's a few important things to know. You can't just throw mods together in whatever order you want. So, in the expanded galaxy mod, they have, like, on their Nexus Mods page, they have a recommended install order. So, first goes the single-player controller mod, if you want to use that, then uh, Expanded Galaxy mod and the compa uh, Compatibility Pack. Uh, you can determine whether you need that, uh, like, if you have one of these four mods, you need the Custom Extras Pack, that's the one that they're talking about. Um, then other story mods, so that's mostly DLC mods, which just install by uh, copying a DLC into a folder. Um, yeah, after that you uh, install the EGM add-ons, and then after we got all the story mods and content mods installed, we can install the textures. So we're gonna start off the textures with uh, a lot for Mass Effect 3, that's right here. Then we can install some miscellaneous textures, like for example the uh, the add-on pack for a lot, which is not included in the main installation, but very recommended. And then afterwards, I guess we could add a number ten, which is uh, like config changes. So that's going to be at the very end. I'm going to have timestamps for everything in the description, and yeah. This is going to be a long video, I'm quite sure. I'm just going to get going. And we'll see how it goes. Right. So, first thing you want to do is think about what you want and download everything. So, I'm not using the single player native control support mod. Um, and I'm not using the intuitive controls mod either. I know for a fact that, uh, like, this interferes with some other mods, so you might want to install this uh, at the very first if you're gonna use it. It's kind of as explained here. And yeah, right at the end before, uh, yeah, right at the end you build uh, GUI compatibility. Right now I just, like, I would include it. Maybe I'm gonna do that in the future, but I don't think so. Um, I would include it in this video, but right now I just... <laughs> I don't have the patience to to figure that out. I know that the way that I'm going to do this now is going to work. I've done it. That's how I mod my game. Um, so yeah, it, it should work with a single player native controller mod as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't tested it. No guarantees, but it should work. About the intuitive controls mod, um, yeah, you just have to replace one file. But I'm not quite sure at which point you want to install this. You either want to install this before Expanded Galaxy mod or right after. After that, it doesn't really make a difference because it replaces a, a very, very important settings file, which includes all the key bindings and a lot of the... Like, it just includes almost everything. Um, and I'm not sure if the Expanded Galaxy mod actually uh, works with that file or replaces it, so... I'm not sure if that interferes. I'm guessing it doesn't, show, uh, so it should be fine to just uh, do it after installing EGM and it should work just fine. Uh, but I'm not sure, so no guarantees. If you want to install that, try it out. Make backups along the way, so if, some, if you mess something up, then uh, you will know. And also, like if you're uh, doing a big long install run, like I am doing now, make sure to check in between some of the mods if the game still works or if you get error messages because that may happen of course right so let's just begin 
So the first thing that we're gonna do as recommended is install Expanded Galaxy Mod and the compatibility pack. Right here. I've already backed up my game. You can see I have everything downloaded already, which I would recommend to you too. So I have everything from... Yeah, well, that's not gonna be included. <laughs> okay, I have everything from EGM to the miscellaneous textures. And I have my own backup folder. So I have one backup of the vanilla game. Uh, I did one backup after installing all this. And I have one backup for the finished game. So that's what you may want to consider. Um, Right, so right now I have my game in a like just clean vanilla state. So we can start by installing EGM. This is actually pretty simple because it uses the mod manager, at least the version that I downloaded. There are several versions, uh, but I definitely recommend the mod manager installer because it includes a lot of the stuff like the compatibility patch, custom extras pack and so on. And yeah. So, basically, use the mod manager, it's, it's good, it's simple, and it just works. Um, right, so you go into the downloads, you download this mod manager installer, and you can also, like, you have to, if you use ThaneMod 2 or BackOff, then you can also download this EGM custom, ex uh, custom extras pack. And yeah, we'll look through that in a second. Then there's also these, uh, also these high resolution textures for the vehicles, um, which I would also take the mod manager version, but uh, that's like a texture mod. So that's also something for the very end. We're gonna ignore those for now and just focus on the main installation right here. Right, so I have downloaded this right here. And the way that you can install it is if you open the mod manager, wait, so now it, it gets a bit messy maybe. Okay, so I have my tools here, right? So, wait, what? Oh, okay, um, this is an old version. Right, so I have downloaded the newest version of the mod manager. Oh, and by the way, links to everything will also be in the description. So I'm just gonna extract that. and delete the zip file. And in here, we just have this me3cmm.exe. By the way, I don't think that you, you should bother with doing these backups because um, we are doing full backups because we're modifying a lot of stuff. So I'm not sure if this, if this makes any sense. So I would just ignore that make a backup of at the very beginning, make some backups along the way, and one at the end, and you should be fine. Um, right, so we want to import a mod. How do we do that? It's pretty simple. We just have this expanded galaxy mod, drag that over here. It's gonna scan the zip file. Yeah. It's gonna do that. Yeah, depending on how fast your PC is, this might take a little longer or be a little faster. I have somewhat modern hardware. I'm going to install all of this uh, on an SSD. So if you're using a regular hard drive then it's going then everything's basically going to take a bit longer um yeah all right so it successfully scanned everything and we can now import the expanded galaxy mod and as you can see the extended galaxy mod also imports as a dlc mod for the most part as far as i'm aware it also replaces a lot of files in in the other mods and in the base game. So that's why you want to do this first.
Right, let's just take another look at the description here. Up, up, up. Okay, right, the custom extras pack we will install after installing all the other story mods. Alright, so mods have been imported. We have it right here, the expanded galaxy mod. Oops, misclicked. And I just want to see what this does. Let you do close, blah, blah, blah. Next. I'm scared. Wait. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're just going to do this at the very end, I think. Okay, so right here we have the expanded galaxy mod. And it's very simple, we just click on apply mod it's gonna apply. Now it's gonna update the talk files, which is very important to do if you're modifying DLCs, otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, right, so this should be it. Now we have EGM installed, that's it. It's, it's literally that easy. Um, yeah, okay. So, next step will be Mass Effect 3 recalibrated. We're just gonna minimize this for now. Move on to the next step. We have that right here. Um, it's kind of all over the place, so we're just gonna take a look at the install guide. And well, I told you I have no idea what I'm doing here. I have not prepared for, uh, prepared for any of this, so I'm just gonna go through this. Right, so we're going to do the DLC patcher at the end. Um, of course, you might want to read through all this, but I'm trying to keep this video short. Um, and now we just need to... Like, the first thing we need to do is copy... Oh, that's the wrong one. Right, so... Now we go to our game files. That's in Origin Games. Mass Effect 3, and in Biogame DLC, we will find this list of, like, this big list of DLCs, right? So, now we need to copy this uh, DLC mod ME3 re, that's that one, and just copy that right over here. And there we go. Here we have it. DLC mod ME3RE, and now we can install all these compatibility files. So first we will take a look here. Um, mm -hmm. Right, there's optional Kelly Redux, wait, let's take a look. Oh, right, so this modifies something about her hair, I guess. Yeah, it does look a lot better in back off. So, yeah, since we're using Jam for this, the John P's alternate Mass Effect happy ending mod, I guess we're just gonna copy this and do that at the very end after doing... No, wait. Okay, this... Yeah, so now it's getting messy, basically. This is the part where it also gets a bit fun, right? So if you want to, if you want to mod your game thoroughly, then yeah, prepare for prepare for a bit of a mess. Um, right. So we're doing that later. Um, then we have the Joker teeth fix, which comes as a texture file, so. We are going to copy that to our miscellaneous textures. Oops, that's from my old modding run. 
I'm just gonna pretend that this is all new. Right, so we have the Joker teeth fix. And this replacement file, okay. Then, okay, we have those two. Use if no Citadel, Omega, Leviathan DLC. We do have the Citadel and Omega. No, we have Citadel and Leviathan installed, so we're not gonna use this one. Um, right, so, blah, 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 base game galaxy map. Yep, okay, and inside this Bioware DLC compatibility, we're gonna select from all of the DLC that we have, like depending on what you have, yours will vary. I have Citadel from Ashes and Leviathan. I don't have Collector's Edition. So I'm just going to copy all these files. Go into my origin games. Oh, what did I do? Okay, so in the in the folder that we just pasted into the Math Effect. <coughs> oh god. My voice is failing me. Um, inside the folder, inside the Origin Games, right here in the DLC mod ME3 Re, we're just going to take these, copy, and paste and overwrite. Okay, we don't have to overwrite, apparently. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Okay, and now we need to replace. Okay, so if you also have the N7 Collector's Edition DLC, then you're also gonna wanna take those two files, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna ignore that. And that's it for this mod. Now step four, we have to run auto talk. And right, I told you about this earlier. Uh, under tools you will see a run auto talk on game updating base game and talk files uh, dlc files and that's it now you should see this pc console talk dot bin in the dlc folder and we're done with mass effect 3 recalibrated so we can move on down the list next one is back off Back off is a little more complicated because there's a lot of uh, compatibility patches as far as I'm aware. If I recall correctly, yeah, right, there's like a lot of stuff going on. So we're gonna start with back off 1.0, and yeah, we have these compatibility patches and also bio patches and all that. So we're just gonna start in here. We're done with that. Nope. Um, back off v1 install guide. And there's some info here. Okay, we have the DLC patcher. Um, and this is also a DLC mod, so we can just copy this folder, paste it into the DLC folder. Right, and here we have it DLC con back off. And in here we already have this pre-generated PC console talk bin. And in the cook PC console, I think we will now have to replace some stuff. So, right. Install back off. We also have some optional textures. I'm just gonna ignore these for now, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it at the end. Um, right, so we did that. Wait, what's... Oh, right. Um, okay, then we're done in this folder. Now we need to install backoffs patches. So that's BO patches. So you can see these are named in a very weird way. We have backoff 1.0, BO patches 1.0. So those work together. Now something's confusing. After backoff patches 1.0, we have 1.1.1. So yeah, clues in the name. First we do this one, then this one, then we do the update, and then we do the BO patches update. So now first we go to BO patches, and we will find loads of stuff here. <sighs> yeah, 
not everyone needs to use bo patches uh, but we will because we have some mods installed and we also have citadel dlc leviathan dlc yeah and we also have thane mod c because i want to romance thane so i install thane mod um all right so this is also a dlc mod so you'll have a lot of dlc when we're done with this we copy the DLC con bo patches. And it's gonna be right here. Inside there, we will find these few files. Now we need to populate this folder because, well, this is a very custom patch, right? So we are using the Citadel epilogue mod. So we're going to take those, copy and paste. If you are not going to use the Citadel epilogue mod, then you need to, uh, but you do have Citadel, well, basically read this, it's pretty self-explanatory. So there's only one out of the three top ones that you can install. I have CEM, I have the Citadel DLC, so for me, I pick the first one. Yours may vary. Then we also install John P's alternate Mass Effect Happy Ending mod. And yeah, we'll need the jam patch for that. Copy and paste. There we go. And here we have Thane mod patch. And since we use Thane mod C, I think. Wait, let's just take a quick look. Um, right, C is extended cut uh, and romance. Right, okay. Yes, we are using Thane mod C, so I'm going to use this. Paste. And that should be it for BO Patches version 1. Now we need to auto talk, but I'm just gonna ignore that for now because we will need to auto talk a lot more. So, right, we can just. Okay, I think we're done with this. Then we have the back of 1.1 update. And this includes back of 1.1 update and BO patches 1.1 update. So, yeah. Um, some of the mods make it look like a clusterfuck, but it's not too bad actually. So we have this back of the 1.1 update. We have this and we just have to overwrite. Copy. Get into the DLC con back off. And paste. And for BO patches. Um. Okay, so for BO patches, we will need to go here. Right, for... Okay, I use Leviathan DLC, so... I'm gonna get in here and copy these three files down there. And replace. Okay, and auto talk. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, right, next thing, B all patches V1.1.1. So that's this one. For some reason it ships with this. Um, it's just this one file. Like for some reason it includes a texture file for notepad, so that's a bit confusing. But it's just this one file and we just have to copy it over Copy, paste, and replace. And that's it for back off and back off patches. Now, I also use the Citadel Epilogue mod and the Mass Effect 3 Recalibrated mod, so I will have to install both of these compatibility patches for BO patches. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on inside of BO patches. Um, 
I guess we're just gonna start with uh, uh, 1.4 patch for bio patches for Citadel Epilogue mod. Um, it's pretty easy, we just need to paste these files. Depending on whether you chose the full version of the Citadel Epilogue mod or the light version, you have to take full or light. I chose the full version. So we take these files and paste an overwrite right there. Okay, next we have the Mass Effect 3 recalibrated. I don't remember. Okay, yeah, we also just need to copy these three files over here and paste them. And now we're done with back off. We got all this stuff installed. Next we will do the Citadel epilogue mod. But first I need to take a drink. Because words are hard. <clears throat> Much better. Okay, um, yeah, Citadel Epilogue mod. We have these two files in here. We have the CEM full, that's the main mod, and then we have this transition mod because we're using John Peace alternate Mass Effect happy ending mod. Um, right, so we're just gonna get in here. We have all this stuff. It's just an installer, so it's pretty easy we get all this music uh, to choose from, so that's pretty cool. Um, so you can listen to the three of these and decide which one you're gonna want to use. I'm just gonna click on the installation. Alright, there we go. So, click next to continue. Um, blah blah blah. Okay, okay, right, updating talk bins, uninstalling, no transition, blah blah blah. Okay, I agree, you might want to read through all this, I already did that once, so yeah. Now we have some, we have some stuff to choose here. I like the CEM music, I already listened to it. Um, so you can pick one of these three for the ending music. I like this one. Um, and then we have some additional... Uh, settings here. Like for example the uh, email from Kolyat. I like to take that one because I'm a Thane Mancer uh, and well it just makes the Thane story a bit more realistic I guess. Yeah and it's uh, recommended for Thane mod users as a safety net to not break the illusion. Um, we have this. Uh, I don't romance Miranda or Jack so that's not relevant to me. No Anderson intro. I'm not sure what that's about, so I'm just going to ignore that. And I don't need a break between the end of the game and Citadel epilogue mod, so I'm not going to install the no limits. Then we have these few. Click on next. Uh, pick the place where it's installed. It's gonna update the talk.bins. And I'm pretty sure that it, yeah, Citadel Epilogue mod, here we have it. No call yard option is installed, right. So, yeah, that all worked. So, yeah, we are on Citadel Epilogue mod. And because we're using the John Peace alternate Mass Effect Happy Ending mod, we also need to install this. Yeah, you'll probably want to read all the readmes. Um, that's kind of self-explanatory, really. It's called a readme. You should read it. Right, of course, we read all of that. Um, I have the CEM full. And I'm... I think I was interested in M4. That's my favorite song out of these two. So yeah, 
Just install that right over it. Finish. And we're done with the Citadel ending. Wait, Citadel epilogue mod. Next, Thane mod. Uh, this one is... I don't think it's that complicated. I don't actually remember. Yeah, it is complicated. Oh man. But it's worthwhile, really. It even has some custom uh, animations in there, I think. So... So it's, it's pretty cool, I recommend it to everyone. You don't just have to use version C. I'm using version C because I romance him. Uh, but there's even a version for having Thane just as a friend. So that's pretty cool. And there's different versions for different uh, mods. So you have those four versions here. No, it's five, six versions. Um, I go with uh, with C. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Wait a minute. Ooh, a new patch has come out. Okay, that's interesting. I should download this. I didn't know they're still continuing development on Thane mod. That's interesting. No, it's only for DE. Well, I am stupid. Right, so if you use uh, packages D, E, or F, then you will need this. I use C, so I won't use this. So I'm... I was being stupid. Um, yeah, so cancel that. And that should be it. So, welcome to ThaneMod 2.0, blah blah blah. Compatibility. You want to read all of this, of course. I already did. Using this guide, introduction, blah blah blah. I have already done that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Of course, turn off auto update. Remember textures. Move texture mods. Um, we're not going to use the Mass Effect 3 Explorer. Right, so inside this folder we have these files. Okay, so this is also a DLC mod, of course. Everything is DLC mods, so first of all, we copy this DLC con Thane mod into the DLC folder. And now we go on to editing stuff, right? So, um, install the binary files. We have done that, or, well, we will do that. Um, right, so we have the Leviathan DLC, so we will have to install those. We have this uh, right there. Uh, paste that into the Thane mod Cook PC console, so that's right here. Just replace, overwrite. Okay, so, wait, I'm stupid, where is it? I'm not sure what this Mass Effect 2 stuff is about, but, uh, well, we're modding Mass Effect 3, so that's not really relevant to us. Uh, we just might be interested in these textures here. So we are interested in one of the dresses. Wait, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna move over to our mods and in the miscellaneous folder. Under miscellaneous textures, we're gonna make a new folder for Thane mod. And in here, we need the cabin photo, the EWAC. I've tested all this, it converts perfectly fine. Um, now we have some dresses for, for choice. I like the mosaic. Like, the other ones are cool, but I prefer the mosaic, so I'm gonna take the mosaic. Copy and paste. There we go. Then we have hoodies. I'm just gonna take the one in black, I think. There's also one in grey, for some reason it's green. Wait, am I stupid? Is this green or grey? This is 
wait you know never mind we're just gonna take the black hoodie and that's that's gonna be it all right so wait original black hoodie oh, i'm so confused how ah, we're just gonna take the black hoodie yeah i'm good at this okay <laughs> i know what i'm doing um right so now we have all the textures as i said textures at the very end so yeah we can we can skip that for now let's just get back into the dlc folder right so now we should be done with all this yeah this is just installing the textures and what auto talk blah 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 check as far Yeah, right, this is not relevant. I think I I think I made a mistake. Oh, please tell me I didn't make a mistake. Oh, please. No, wait. Where's my DLC? We have the S-Fars. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going to be an issue. Never mind, it's going to be fine. <laughs> if something doesn't work at the end, I just have to redo this. Right, so Thanemod V2 back off patch. That's ne no wait. First this one. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just being stupid here. So we have... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... <sighs> okay, so... We need to use this one because we're not using Mass Effect Happy Ending mode. I guess. For some reason my system's suddenly really laggy. Wait a second. Uh, okay. Um, right, so we just need to copy the file. What the fuck is going on? Okay. I copy the file into Thane mod paste and there we go did I just do something stupid no nope nope I never do something stupid uh, I am I don't make mistakes that's a rule okay so I new patch files blah 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 thing mod code PC console Okay, I need to delete three files. These three. Why can't I just mark things? Uh, why is everything so hard? Okay, so BioD Sithub Liara. BioD Sithub Liara moment, that's this one. And Sithub.pcc, so that's this one. And SFX game info SP. Where is that? There it is. Okay. And we need to paste these three files over there. Right, and run auto talk. We're gonna do that later. Um Okay, so I think we are done with Thane mod as well. Yep, we are. Next thing is gonna be jam. I almost skipped to a lot, but no, we don't make mistakes, right? Okay, so... Jam. 
I'm a big fan of strawberry jam myself. Um, so now we can choose between two versions, version A for including the catalyst uh, conversation or version 2, uh, version B I mean, uh, which doesn't include the catalyst conversation and by default just destroys stuff. I like to keep the conversation. So we're just gonna select what we want, click on next, click on install and boom, that's it. Right. Um, was there something in here? No, I don't think so. Right. Um, okay. Next thing is a lot. But I'm sure that I forgot something. Right, so there's the custom, ex uh, custom extras pack. High res vehicles pack. I think we need to run the custom extras pack now for the expanded galaxy mod. Um, we need back off compatibility, Thane mod compatibility. Um, I have a good CPU, so I'm gonna keep the the high resolution Prothean sphere uh, because there's like it has dynamic reflections and all that. So uh, if you experience any lagging, then you can just open this back up again and enable this and install again. But I didn't have that conversation. Uh, I didn't have that problem, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm just gonna add this extra conversation and I think I'm gonna stick to the Mass Effect 3 bra uh, background music, but that should be it. It's updating, updating the talk.bins. Okay, now we're done with EGM for real, and we can go on to installing textures. Now this is going to be the exciting part. We're not going to uh, going to do it with the installer. I like to do things manually. Actually, let's just run auto talk before, uh, like just to make sure that everything is properly patched. Let's also install this bypass here. Okay, let's just start up the game just for a test run to see if it works, because if it doesn't I'm gonna cry. Looking good, looking good. And... Okay, so I tried that once in the past, like I tried it two times. The first time it failed. Like this screen we never got this far. So, that's good, it works. Again, it works. Okay. Then everything should be fine. We should be fine to just move on. No, there's one more thing I remember. Okay, so Alt F4. In the miscellaneous, we also had this thing that we had to replace in the jam folder. So, open a new window. No, I'm looking like an idiot trying to get this to stick to the corner because I have a second monitor over here. Um, right, so Mass Effect 3, Bio Game, DLC, and this was for Jam. Where is it? DLC con Jam in the Cook PC console. Copy, paste, overwrite. There we go. Now we should be done. Okay, so I think now we get to to my favorite part, the part that I have done countless times, which is install a lot. And there is a lot of stuff to do, pun intended. Um, right, so we need some stuff open. Oh fuck, I forgot something. Yeah, we just switched out the file, so... You know what, never mind. We're just gonna go to the Mass Effect modder. Run as administrator. You can just download this uh, from the link in the description. 
just pick the newest version. Right now it's 1.108, so that's what we're using. And we have some options here. First, I'm going to update the talks. All right, so now we go into the texture, uh, texture manager, and we're going to get a pop-up. Our DLCs are not extracted yet. It's still all packed up in SFAR files. We can see that right here. Um, right. The standard DLCs are packed up in these SFAR files. So if we want to modify the, de uh, the textures, we'll need to unpack them. So that's what we're gonna do. Extract DLC. Now this is gonna take a little while. I'm gonna have another drink. Right, so this just crashed. And that's why you should have... <laughs> I'm so stupid. Right, so I didn't do a backup, I paid for it. You should do a backup before doing this step. Luckily, I do have a backup from before. I'm just... I'm just being an idiot today. So yeah, I have this backup here. I'm just gonna use that one. I'm very sorry. All right, so we're gonna pretend that that never happened. Uh, okay, let's take a look. How did I do it previously? Okay, I did it the same way. Right, so... Yeah, because I was being stupid, we fucked up. And so... Now we are paying for it. What am I doing? Right, in the mods, in the tools, in the Mass Effect modder. Run as administrator. Come on. We have this here. Make sure it's got the right path. Nope, that's that's not the right path. What am I doing? Origin games, Mass Effect 3, binaries. There we go. And pray. And there we go. DLC is extracted. Process total time, 2 minutes 41 seconds. And that crash that we just experienced was exactly the reason why we do backups. And it was exactly the reason why me not doing a backup just 2 minutes ago was very stupid. Luckily I had one from before. Okay. So we have our DLCs extracted. I'm just gonna update the talks for whatever reason. And right, I think I have an old uh, texture scan file, so I'm gonna remove that. And now we're just going to enter the texture manager. Replacing textures, uh, we need a tree. Like the Mass Effect model needs to know what textures we have on our machine. So we need to scan absolutely everything. Now this part about your game needs to be in a vanilla... No, ignore that. If you made the conscious decision to mod your game and you want to have nice textures in your modded files as well, then ignore this. If you want your game to be modded, like if you want to mod your vanilla game, then obviously that makes sense. But that's not our problem. So just click on uh, yes and it's gonna scan a lot of textures, and I'm gonna eat some pizza now. So, see you after the break. Alright, so... Yeah, we just built the tree. We have all these nice folders with all these nice textures in here. 
It's a lot of folders. It's a lot of textures. Um, so what we want to do now is install a lot for Mass Effect 3. How do we do that? It's very simple actually. We just click on load mods and somewhere right there in the mods um, a lot a lot for Mass Effect 3 and here we have these two files the standard.mem and the meshes. We're just gonna import both of those. Yeah I shouldn't have clicked on them. Oh god. Make it stop. Okay so I'm just gonna select both of those and click on uh, like right click and apply mods. It's just gonna install this and I'm gonna meet you when I'm done. Alright, so we're done. Some errors have occurred, but that's completely fine. Because, as we can see here, like uh, BioD OMG 001, we see the OMG, that stands for Omega, and since we don't have the Omega DLC installed, it only makes sense that it's not gonna find this Omega file. So, yeah, that's not an issue at all. We can just ignore that. Um, yeah, depending on what DLCs you have installed and what you haven't installed, you might get different errors, you might get more stuff here or less stuff. As long as it doesn't crash, as long as everything applies, um, it should be completely fine. Alright, so that's it for a lot for Mass Effect uh, 3. Now we have some additional stuff. I told you we have the, we have the other textures the miscellaneous textures right over here we have the joker teeth fix and we have the thane mod stuff um, you know what I'm just gonna like you should probably put this into two separate files I'm not gonna do that I have my complete modded games I'm not gonna mod this game ever again because I have everything I need. Right, okay. That's not part of it. Okay. So we have a DDS image and some TPF files. I'm just gonna create a mod. Nope, I'm stupid. Uh, batch convert uh, mod to TPF. No, wait. Convert TPF to mod. Okay. Um, Mass Effect 3, miscellaneous, and here we are. Open all those and spit them out into a banana.mem. And now we can load the mod file. Miscellaneous, banana.mem. And in here we should have all the stuff we need. So here we have the Joker T-Fix. We have the frame for the picture. Like we have the picture, we have the dress. We have more stuff for the dress. We have something. I have no idea. I haven't got a clue. Oh, now this is for sweater. More stuff for the sweater. Um... Oh, apparently it's a picture for the codex. There's some more stuff. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, basically we have everything we, we need. We can just click on apply mods. It's gonna apply these mods very quick, very easy. Oh man, where's my shoe? All right, here it is. Okay, Um. yeah, mods applied, process total time, set, uh, 11 seconds, very easy, very quick, very banana. Um, okay, so 
and we still don't have anything. Uh, we don't have. Uh, we still don't have everything, because uh, Otomus, for example, she d she did some really really great textures, uh, but uh, she didn't allow for them to be contained in a lot. So, like the guys who made a lot also made this add-on pack. This is kind of half automated, half manual, so we'll have to put some work into this. Um, but this will basically extend uh, extend uh, the textures that a lot includes uh, by a few other textures that were not allowed to be included in a lot. So, yeah. Blah blah blah. Okay, no. It says, 000, double click me, please. Right, so let's do that. Okay, type 2 if you're modding ME2, 3 if you're modding ME3. We are modding ME3, so there we go. A notepad screen should pop up with a list of URLs. Follow the instru instructions listed there. Once done, hit a key to continue the installation. Oh, they even, they even have a smiley face, okay. If the smiley face tells us to do this, we're gonna do this. Okay, so blah blah blah, we have to download this stuff. Um, uh, blah blah blah. Right, so there's a lot of stuff from Otomus in here because she has some great textures, as I said, but uh, not everything because some of the stuff overlaps, so this is just a very good selection of things. Um, <clears throat> right, so we have this stuff for Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. Some more stuff for Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. And then a lot of Optimus stuff just for Mass Effect 3. Right, um, control left click. Nope, that doesn't work. Alright, so, wait, that wasn't a link. What am I doing? Okay, it still doesn't work. Yeah, we're just gonna copy this. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun now. Maybe I'm gonna speed this up. Oh, this will be fun. Choose English. All right, and in the files tab, we will find some files. First, we have Weapon Predator HR version 1.2.zip. Right. Uh, where do we need to save this stuff? And place them into the downloaded mods directory. Don't extract the files or rename them. Okay. Um, right there. Wait, what? Why is it already? Well, never mind. Okay. A weapon predator. We're going to mods Mass Effect 3 um, a lot. 2017 add on downloaded mods. Oh, what am I doing? Where did I put the notepad? There we go. Uh, and the shuriken. Then the mantis. And the katana. And the carnifex. And the paladin. And the feasten, or feast, feasten? I don't know. This thing here. <laughs> Is it loading? 
Come on, work. There we go. Feasten. Download that. And next is just the cane. Alright, so we're done with this page. We can close all this stuff. Alright. Oh, damn it. This is turning on again. Okay, um... For Mass Effect 2 and 3, a OneDrive page. Copy. And paste. And off we go. There we go. Okay, that took a while. Right, so we got those. And now we'll have to download a whole bunch of Nexus mods. We'll start with the Alliance Blues. And the Alliance Cruiser. You know, let's just pretend. Oh, what the fuck? That's a pretty big file. You know, let's pretend that we got that. Uh, you can, you can, I think you know how to download things and put them into a folder. So, yeah, I'm just gonna pretend that we got everything. Um, Alright, get that out the way. Hit any key. Oh. Oh, I need to close this. Yeah, I don't have, I have a lot of the files skipped, so it's not going to find a lot of files. But basically that's how it's going to go. Right, now we get this file at the very end. And with this file... Wait, what? Never mind, we're just... What? There it is, okay. We have this a lot, me3z add-on dot mem. And we just install it just as we installed the other one. Which is... Just click on... Where is it? There it is. And import the two of these. Select both. Apply mods. Yeah, that's just, just gone process. Let it work. Uh, just like the other mods. And after that, we will continue with the miscellaneous textures. Or did I do that already? I don't remember. I think I did that. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Then, I guess this is the last step. I mean, I totally enjoyed all this, <laughs> but finally, this is a long video. Okay, I'll just let that work in the background and just talk some more. Um, right, so... Keep the order in mind. Make sure that you have all the newest versions of all the programs that you download. Make sure, like, don't just uh, don't just download what I have downloaded. 
download what you need. So here you will probably just download the same thing that I downloaded, but not everyone will need the custom extras pack. You might want the high resolution vehicles pack. It's very like, you can, you can do whatever you want, basically. You won't need all of this. Actually, you will. What the fuck is this? No, I didn't need this. Well, basically, you can, um, yeah, don't just download what I downloaded. Read through the pages. My guide is just a rough, uh, it's, it's just a rough out, rough? Is that how you say it? Yeah, it's late. My English is starting to fail me. Um, this is just a rough outline of how this can work, uh, how you can mod your game. Just, uh, Try this out, pick up what you want. Um, yeah. This video is without any planning whatsoever. It's rushed, just as the last one. If you're looking for a guide on how to install a lot the simple way, that's if you don't have other mods installed, then click on the link in the video description or the pop-up in the top right corner and all well, this is finished here so now we are basically done modding the game we're done that's it and yeah that's great I guess let's check it out oh shit actually I forgot something you can still do some, uh, well, basically, you can do some changes to your uh, INI file, so you can uh, paste some lines into your configuration file, and that will improve the quality of the game. As you can see, a lot has successfully installed, as you can see in the background. So, you can fiddle around with some more stuff. I kind of mentioned it in my uh, How to Install a Lot for Mass Effect 2 2017. Um, Right at the end and in the description, you will find, um, like you will find some mentions to things you can change and uh, two articles that will help you with modding your config settings. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just need to paste some lines of uh, lines of code. Um, so there sh there shouldn't be any issue with that. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of late. I don't have the time for that right now. So I hope you forgive me for that. Right, so, if we load a game, let's just load, the r load right here. Oh, by the way, spoilers, maybe? I don't know when I saved here. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Okay. Right, so, here, for example, we have Morden. I forgot about something very important. I need to alt F4 for a second. Okay, before I forget, I hope that probably everyone's turned the video off by now. Um, but yeah, you need to do two more things. Come on, where is it? Mods, Mass Effect 3, tools. In the Mass Effect modder, there is two very important, what the fuck? Uh, two very important things that you have to do. And they're update your LOD settings and optimize games INI settings. And that's it. Okay. Now we have it. Now we can load up the game. You know, I will... I'm still gonna make a video where I compare the fully modded version of Mass Effect 3 to an unmodded version, so that's coming up. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. It's probably going to pop up on screen. Uh, on screen. Um, I don't know why I'm circling her chest plate. By the way, I only got this picture just for this video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you to some degree. It's really long, probably unnecessarily long, uh, but yeah, deal with it. If nobody else does it, I'm gonna do it, and I can't promise that my version is the best version possible. So, thank you very much for watching. 
uh, subscribe for a future probably non mass effect content um yeah but i promise i promise that i will make the comparison video in the very near future so uh, stay tuned for that um yeah have a nice day and i'll catch you later